coming up next here on Golf America. Governor's Club has the three distinct nines, lake, foothills, and mountain. Each of them have their own characteristics. None of them are the same. No hole is the same. We're heading to Chapel Hill, North Carolina this week, as we'll pay a visit to an award-winning facility that is home to 27 holes of Jack Nicklaus Signature Design Golf. And in our tip of the week, what club to use when you're just off the edge of the green. Just like I would for a chip shot. And then I'm gonna take a putting stroke that's gonna mimic the same thing as a regular putter. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, is brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game, Cobra, and the King F7 driver with Cobra Connect, and by CyberlinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. Hi everyone and welcome to the program. We're in Chapel Hill, North Carolina this week at the award-winning Governor's Club, home to three very unique nine-hole golf courses. All three were designed by Jack Nicklaus. All three are considered Jack Nicklaus signature design layouts. We begin with a look at the lakes course. Here at the Governor's Club, members enjoy playing three distinct nines. The lakes, the foothills, and the mountain course. Each course has its own characteristics. And of the 27 holes of golf you'll find here, no two holes are the same. The lakes and the foothills courses are the original 18, we call them the lower 18. By definition, the lakes course is considered a Parkland style golf course. Water comes into play on about half the holes in the lakes. In the design process, Jack Nicklaus skillfully crafted out a golf course that features subtle rolling fairways, contrasted by greens whose contours can certainly make for some unique reads when rolling a putt here on the lakes course. A lot of risk reward on several holes, but it's a, it's a challenging layout. As is the case with all three nines here at the Governor's Club, the Lakes course offers six sets of tees. So, regardless of your skill level, there is a set of tees for each and every player. For the very good ball striker, the back tees played at just over 3,500 yards. Moving it up to the forward red tees reduces the length down to 2612. One of our favorite holes on the Lakes course also seems to be a member favorite as well, hole number two. The second hole is a great Nicholas design hole where there's risk reward on both shots. You can hit a driver and try to take off as much of the fairway as you can, but you challenge the ravine that sits in front of the, the putting surface. But most players will lay up short of that ravine and allow themselves a 60 to 80 yard chip or shot over the ravine. You do not want to be down in the ravine because you'll be hard pressed to manufacture a shot to get up and down from here. The best scoring opportunity on the lake scores can be found on both par fives. Number three and number seven. The seventh hole is also it's a longer par five. another green that has an ample room to the left side of the green that you can bail out too. And if you happen to miss the green to the left, well you'll have a fairly easy pitch up to the putting surface that features some subtle undulation. And one of my favorite holes here on the lakes course is number three, a fairly short par five that with enough distance off the tee, you could go for the green in two. If not, you could lay back, play it as a three shot par five, stick one close, and you never know, you could walk off the green with a birdie. The 
third hole in the lakes course has risk reward on both the tee shot as well as the approach shot. The first shot, you want to navigate around a bunker on the left side of the hole. If you can clear that bunker or steer clear of it and stay in the fairway, you leave yourself an elevated shot down to a green that is well protected in front by water and back by a single bunker, but there is bailout room to the right side. So the amateur player is going to play the tee shot around the bunker, but they're going to have the second shot to a landing area short of the green where they don't have to worry about the water or the bunker in back. They can play a nice short iron to the green and still walk away with a par. Fit for Golf and Fit for Life is brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game. Our course of the week is the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, home to three fantastic Jack Nicklaus signature design golf courses. We are at the Foothills course. This was part of the original 18 holes that opened up back in 1990. The Foothills course, together with the Lakes course, comprise the first 18 holes of golf here at the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill. And like its sister course, the Foothills starts down along the clubhouse, but then course designer Jack Nicholas begins to gradually route the layout along the ridge line of Edwards Mountain. you play the, the Foothills 9, the golf course becomes much more target golf. You want to think through your round and your shots much better than, than you do in the grip and rip it side of the lakes. As with the lakes course, there are six sets of tees on the Foothills, with the back tees stretching this 9 out to 3560. The forward red tees reduces the length down to 2548. That particular nine has a lot more elevation change than the lakes, but a lot of holes that you can either make or break your round. Including the 13th hole, which is a medium length par five, much like number two on the lakes. A big ravine you must clear over. So if you play that hole well, you can have a chance for a birdie from a pitching wedge shot from 120 yards out from the green. If you challenge that ravine too much, you can find yourself down in the bottom of the ravine and you can take three or four shots just to get out of there. Another good scoring opportunity presents itself at hole number 15. Fairly short par four that plays uphill from tee to green. But if you know where the flag is located, you're going to come in that green with a short iron, maybe even a wedge, and you can really attack that whole location. One of the toughest holes, not only on the foothills, but the entire 27-hole layout here at the Governor's Club is hole number 17, a par five that plays to 565 from the back tee. It's all of a three-shot par five, plus it features a well-protected green complex. Number 17 on the Foothills course here at the Governor's Club is the longest par five on this 27 hole Jack Nicklaus design. In fact, the Golden Beer remade the same hole at Bears Best in Atlanta. Now the tee shot plays uphill. Once you land by a fairway bunker, it is downhill all the way to the green. And depending on how much distance you get off the tee, you can either decide to go for the green in two or lay up and play it as a three shot par five. If you want to reach hole 17 and two, it's going to take two tremendous shots. But if you hit your, your second shot down to a landing area short of some bunkers, it looks intimidating, but the bunkers won't come into play. And you can now have a wedge or a short iron into 
a green that's going to be receptive to a shot and give yourself another chance to make a birdie. Hole number 17 at the Governor's Club, just one of 27 fantastic holes of golf you'll find on this Jack Nicklaus signature design layout. This portion of Golf America is brought to you by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. Hi, I'm Thomas Brenson, the Director of Golf at Governor's Club here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Today we're on the third hole, a par five on our lakes course. My shot to the green has come up just short to the right side of the green. There's plenty of options when you get to this point. We're about 25 feet off the green with plenty of green to work with until the pin. You can hit a sand wedge, a pitching wedge. I'm going to show you a hybrid club today. I've selected the hybrid because a sand wedge or a pitching wedge would create a very long stroke that could cause more room for air. The hybrid is a shorter putting-like stroke that's going to get the ball just above the grass and let it roll and release to the cup. To hit this shot, I'm going to set up just like I would for a chip shot with my weight slightly forward, an open stance, and that ball is going to be directly below the center of my sternum. From that standpoint, I'm going to put my hands forward again, just like a standard chip shot. I'm going to rock back and forth like a putt and hopefully hit the ball close to the cup. And again, to recap, you're going to set up just like a chip shot with your weight forward on a slightly open stance. The ball is going to be directly below the center of your sternum, and then your putting motion is going to take over from there. So it's a hybrid between a chip and a putt. That ball should get above the grass and just release right to the hole. The final nine holes of golf that open for play here at the Governor's Club is the Mountain Course back in 1994. It's the shortest of the three nines, but it's not a layout where you grip it and rip it. No, it's more target-oriented golf. In fact, this layout is very similar to ones you might see, say, in the mountains of western North Carolina. Of the three nines here at the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill, the mountain course is the newest. Not the longest, yet in many respects, it might be the toughest nine to score on. The mountain course is very unique to the Governor's Club and to the Chapel Hill area. Built on Edwards Mountain, this nine-hole layout gives you the feeling that you are in the mountains of western North Carolina. But the golf course is, is shorter, but it's also target golf. You get off the fairways too far, and it's very rugged terrain, much like you find on the, on the mountain layout. And because of the constant elevation changes, this golf course at the Governor's Club will have you thinking through every shot you take. From the back tees, the low handicap player will find a layout that plays to 33-35. For the ladies, the forward red tees play to 25-38. One of the holes a player can take advantage of on this nine is number 19. A relatively short par four that plays downhill off the tee, and then back uphill on your approach into the green. Two well-played shots here at number 19 just might lead to an easy birdie opportunity. Another hole on the mountain course that offers up an excellent scoring chance is number 22. A par five that features a unique split fairway. Once you get to the peak of the fairway, it drops down significantly to the green, so you can take a run of that green in two shots. The Mountain Course, one of three nine-hole courses you'll find on this Jack Nicklaus signature designed layout here at the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. If one was looking for a second home or a new primary residence, you would have to look no further than the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's a beautiful 1,600-acre gated community that features a variety of homes with different architectural types. The club is home to three unique nine-hole layouts designed by the Golden Bear himself, 
Jack Nicholas. Apart from golf, the Governor's Club has much more to offer. We also have a separate wellness center and that has all of our fitness offerings, which is group fitness classes, state-of-the-art fitness equipment, indoor and outdoor pools, and our tennis courts. Within the clubhouse is a well-appointed golf shop. And our clubhouse offers casual, formal, and outdoor dining, as well as over 400 events year-round for our members. The award-winning Governor's Club in Chapel Hill. Come for the Nicholas Signature Design Golf, stay for the lifestyle. The social environment at Governor's Club fosters camaraderie and brings together a variety of different cultural elements that our members are really inspired by. portion of Golf America is brought to you by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. And our final look at our course of the week, the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, brings us out here to hole number 27 on the mountain course. This is a par four that offers fantastic views of downtown Raleigh, Lake Jordan, and beyond. It is also a golf hole where you can pick up a stroke if you play it right off the tee or lose a couple strokes if you miss hit your tee shot. Hold number 27 on the mountain course here at the Governor's Club is a unique par four and a great way to end your round. From this elevated mountain tee, one can see the entire triangle area, including downtown Raleigh. But if you play down to some rock outcroppings, there's a very generous part of the fairway. A lot of players will tee off with a hybrid or a fairway wood to get to that landing area. Now for the very long hitters who can keep it straight, using the driver off the tee is also an option. And take the advantage of the slope, let it roll all the way down to green side to possibly the fringe to give yourself a nice birdie to finish that round. For the right-handed player who likes to draw the ball off the tee, take aim for the bunkers down the right-hand side. Don't overcook it or you just might find one of these three bunkers to the left of the fairway. If you veer off course, you're going to have a tough shot maybe even to find your ball. But if you take advantage of the slope and hit it straight, you're going to take the slope all the way down to the front of the green. Hole number 27 on the mountain course at the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Home to three distinct nines on this Jack Nicklaus signature design golf course. And that's going to do it for this week's show. We do want to give special thanks to all the good folks here at the Governor's Club in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. If you're looking for a private club to join in the Triangle area, then consider the Governor's Club. I'm Alan Hunter for all of us here at Golf America. Hit them long and straight, and we'll see you next time. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, has been brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game, Cobra, and the King F7 driver with Cobra Connect. And by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos.